Hi there, I'm Darrell Williams from FandangleProductions.com Welcome to part 11 of our tutorial on how to build a GIF viewer uh, using WX Form Builder uh, and this tutorial will be producing the code to animate uh, the GIF images that we select in our program. Okay, we have an issue here with the sizer creating a gap but we'll, we'll do that later and yes the error here that we were receiving and I didn't really read didn't I was had a panic thinking what was wrong but the key word was module okay module that means it needs a module there's a module missing and in WX Python there's a module called WX dot animate so that is what the animate module was that was missing so you need to add up the top underneath WX import WX you want to import WX dot animate and then when we run the program F5 to run it there it is now don't resize your okay before you resize your frame if you did resize it let's close it and then we'll start again but don't resize it all right now we have our frame but we have an issue we got this gray area here and we know that the list box we wanted it sized at uh, we want to restrict its width at 300 pixels if you go and have a look here we've restricted the size of three pixels when we adjust now I'll just really reduce this and see what happens nothing this will reduce okay and this remains at 300 wide so I'll just click that and we'll have a look here at the size the size the width is 300 all right now go to the GIF viewer the code and the GIF viewer okay and you got this line that is the 300 width but you got this gray area now if we adjust this notice that okay it's reached 300 this issue here we'll fix that later but we're more concerned that when you reduce it that is so annoying now an issue with uh, Python 3 using WX Python Phoenix is you can't there's an issue with controlling the minimum and maximum width or minimum maximum size of your frame and where's my shell here so if I type WX sorry I have to close the frame it's running the frame okay start again so go import WX so we've done ah. import nah, import WX we've imported that you go WX version okay I'm running uh, WX Python version 2.8.12.1 and what I want to do, press function key F5 to bring up, activate that. It's running. There we go. There it is. What we want to do is we want to adjust this until it pops like that. The gray arrow pops. There it is there. So we need to know what the width is here. So instead of doing it in WX Form Builder, now we'll close this we'll extend the file and now we have the size here so we'll adjust that to 550 that's the width control s to save function key f5 to run and we'll just no still it needs to be wider so we'll go make that 75 575 
save that I'm trying to find the minimum width no okay we'll make it 600 all round 600 so this is the width and this is the height I'm trying to determine what the minimum width is that we want to restrict the frame to so save control s f5 function key start that okay move it and no, that it's got to be a bit longer so we'll make it 625 save that there we go right it's probably 620 but we'll make it 625 okay so now we know that if I do save generate the code okay I go here I clean the code with our program frame fix cleaner now we open the backup file okay and just move that across that's 578 and our program is 625 okay so that's the backup file so we'll close that and we want to make it 625 all right so here we go to frame in WX form builder click the frame so it's active here's our frame and then we got the size here we'll make that 625 click in there since 528 uh, control s to save now minimum I'm not worried about the height but the width I want to restrict it to 625 that is the minimum doesn't about matter about maximum I just want to restrict the width so I click here so that's updated I will save that generate the code get the frame fix cleaner to clean the code press F5 to clean it now we will open it the backup file and here we go this code here all right this is the minimum size this is the maximum so we'll just copy this copy that and then we go to our actual code here and we'll replace this replace that control s to save here have a look here yep 625 so that's updated but now we have a minimum size so close that we will run our viewer program that we're coding press F5 there it is okay so it works it won't go any less than that as for the height yeah you can go as small as you want right but yeah you can't go any the width won't go any further than that now if I remember correctly when I use W uh, sorry Python 3 and WX Python Phoenix which is version 3 it wouldn't accept this code it doesn't have this code and that frustrated me because I like to restrict the size the width and even the height at times of my frame so until they fix that up I've gone back to uh, Python 2.7 and the version is WX Python 2.8.12.1 okay so we've done that we've cleaned the code now we want to animate the gif the way we do that is we have event skip don't skip that just put a comment a hash to comment that out because we will use that now we add the code here so on the end here of the function just hit enter bring the event down and 
Now, I use this program in Ubuntu 14.4 and there's an issue where I get an error, an error with the list box. So what I do is I do try exception. So I go try give path equals and we need to get no, I've already got the path self path no, what I'll do is go sell gif equals event get string get the name of the get the name of the gif file then you go gif gif file equals os path join self gif path cell gif okay so remember we have self gif path which means because we put self there it's none and then we give it the directory path here but because we put self self it is active uh, for any of the functions to get hold of and I was doing a getting a path getting the path from the uh, directory picker but I don't have to because we've already got the path in self path which we put here this is the path to the directory and this is the gif file name we've combined the two so we get the gif file path and name together and then we go self nm control gifs best to check that here we go here it is here so we copy that so we don't get the wrong name and here we go gifs there we go load file GI GI file type equals WX animate uh, caps all caps animation type underscore any caps off and then this is the trick self here to make it work if you just ran it with this code nothing would happen go here play here we go save that now all going well uh, so no didn't put the exception here okay and then Go except print this box error, and I'm putting this in because all of this code I can copy and paste it. I have a network that's how I can copy and paste into my Ubuntu 14.04 computer okay I can paste it I can save it transfer it whatever way I do it I can put it on Ubuntu and it will run but it, I get an error so what I'm doing here is uh, yes uh, if I do have an error just print list box error okay and that's all just just print list box error and then it doesn't crash or lock up it's dealt with whatever the error is and that's for Ubuntu alright I'll just move that across 
there. Okay, move that across there. That's later. Okay, F5 to run. Okay, so now we go here. Yeah, and I find sometimes uh, the directory picker uh, freezes if I click here. So you got these little arrows. I find the little arrows work better and saves you uh, freezing up the directory picker. That's a quirk. Sorry guys. That's life. Okay, here. Uh, Git viewer. I'm not selecting files. I'm just selecting directory. There's my GIF directory. Here we go. And then select the GIF. Hello. It's working. Now, I can use the up and down arrow key. Oop, expand that. And we got this gap here. We have this gap. I'll have to create another tutorial. Time is running out for this one. Okay, so we want to reduce this gap. That'll be another tutorial, but yeah, now you can see the uh, animation, the uh, GIF animations. Okay, all right, so we'll leave the tutorial at that. Uh, and I, we'll leave this code here so we don't lose that. So we can copy and paste. There's an issue when you resize the frame. Okay, that's the end of part 11. The GIF animation code, you've done it. Uh, we just got to fix up that sizer issue. I'm Daryl Williams from FandangleProductions.com. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Till the next tutorial, goodbye.